So I got commissioned to do an art piece for a charity auction where my client wanted me to celebrate black women in tennis. So I said, say no more. Venus, Serene, Coco, and Naomi. Turns out, I needed more. Um, she proceeded to name drop women that I have never had the opportunity to work. It never occurred to me that the first Wimbledon won by a black person was Althea Gibson back in 1957. The first person to win a major tournament after that was Leslie Allen in 1980. But the next person who went to the finals of the Wimbledon was, of course, Zena Garrison in 1990. It has never entered my realm of knowledge that Katrina Adams, Shannon Rubin, and Lori McNeil all peaked top 10 in their tennis careers on top of the fact that they won Olympic medals as well. It has never been pondered by me that it could go far as back as 1917 when Lucia de Solo won her first women's ATA championship and later on becoming a 17-time champ. What I'm trying to say is there's far too many achievements accomplished by these women for them not to be considered in the same conversation as these household names. I mean, yes, it's great that we have these household names, but it's also important to pay respects to the women that built this house in the first place. So, this is my attempt to make up for my own ignorance and social appreciation by giving them their flowers. 